While defending the U.S. House and Senate, Capitol Police were also forced to defend themselves. Three congressional and police sources tell News 4 at least 60 officers suffered injuries. At least one of them is in critical condition. And from seemingly every corner of the Capitol today came calls to investigate what went wrong. How did a 2,300-person police force with a half-billion-dollar-a-year budget and early warnings of trouble let this group take control of the U.S. Capitol? Everybody felt like we were in a, a bad situation when they're, you know, beating on the doors um, and you know, they ask you to get to the ground and because there could be shots, you know, fired. The head of a national organization of federal law enforcement officers tells News 4 the images from yesterday indicate the officers were outnumbered. These officers should have been in full riot gear. The U.S. House Appropriations Committee today announced it will launch a review of what went wrong and that committee controls the police department's budget and has oversight. Recent investigations by our News 4i team showed growing pressure on the agency before yesterday. A 75% spike in threats against members of Congress just since 2017. And this warning from the agency's internal inspector general in summer 2019, alerting the police department of challenges in protecting and securing the complex, inciting issues with the budget, with recruitment, and with training. The agency's police chief, who's less than a year into his position, did not answer questions in the first 24 hours after this crisis. The chief issued a written statement saying the agency had a robust plan, called the actions of officers heroic, and said there would be a review of the incident. The Capitol Police is far too secretive, uh, acts like a force unto itself, and that's one of the matters that needs to be investigated. The Capitol Police answer to Congress itself. The best chance of getting clear answers would come from a congressional hearing, but Congress is recessed until at least Inauguration Day, which means answers won't come for days, if not weeks or months. Scott McFarland, News 4. And we're just getting some breaking news about all this. A spokesperson for, Cap for the Capitol Police says Capitol Police Chief Sund is resigning from the job that he just started over the summer. His resignation takes effect January 16th, so right before the inauguration. Mm -hmm.